Today I have a SPL Edgeboot 8460 laptop and this laptop problem is power is not turning on and today I will fix this and plug in the charger before I plug in the charger I need to check this voltage yes here is a 19 voltage is present in this charger point okay plug in this here is a charging LED is glowing yellow color press the power button but power is not turning on okay today i'll pick this let's start and here is so many dust in the laptop body and i need to clean this and it will take some time to opening this laptop body and opening this circuit and hopefully you will understand that and I don't want to waste your time I just after opening the circuit I will show you where is the problem okay let's open this This is our motherboard. And this is our DC input, charger input, and here is a USB fuse, low value resistor. This fuse is okay. It's showing continuity. This one is capacitor, and one transistor here. And this charger voltage pass through this fuse in the circuit. Okay, it's go to the here. From here it's going to fuse and after that this is the input voltage this MOSFET and this MOSFET and this charger voltage through this MOSFET and it is spread the all over the circuit and let's see this MOSFET working or not and see the output area here is any short circuit or not here is a not short circuit and sometimes it's become a short after that it cannot be passing the voltage and this MOSFET is stopping the working Okay, let's plug in the charger and see the voltage. Okay, check it. Pass the crown pin. Yes, here is a 19 voltage present. See the output voltage in this pin. Here is also 19 voltage present. That means this MOSFET is working. And you can see this voltage and in this side. Here is also an voltage. That means this area is working fine, and here is no problem. And I need to find out the other voltage in this circuit. Here is one resistor, and here is an anti voltage present. And this MOSFET may be output the 1.1 voltage. Let's check it. Yes, here is 1.25 voltage is present also. And that means this MOSFET also working. And I need to find out the 3.3 volt and 5 volt where it use this area this area working for the 3.3 volt and 5 volt and which voltage is very important working for this circuit and you can see this here here is some point here should be present some voltage and here should be present 3.3 volt or 5 volt but here is a no voltage present and let's see here yeah here is a present 5 volt 5 volt is okay and this area 19 volts that means this is the MOSFET input voltage 
and this IC, this oscillator IC work for the 3.3 .3 volt and 5 volt and other voltage. And this two MOSFET working for the 5 volt and let's see. And here is the 5 volt is present. That means this MOSFET is working as well as good. And maybe this coil will work for 3.3 .3 volt. But here is no voltage present. Okay. This pin work for the 3.3 .3 volt. But here is no voltage showing. And this one is 5 voltage. You can see here is 5 voltage is present. And this one is 3.3 .3 volt. But here is no voltage present. And this one is 19 volt. This is the MOSFET input voltage. And MOSFET is input voltage is okay. But when it will be work and maybe circuit this will be run. And you can see here is a no voltage. Here should be present 3.3 volt. 3.3 volt is not available here. All this voltage process from this IC. Okay, maybe this IC is working, but somehow the 3.3 voltage is not working. Maybe here is only short circuit on. Maybe here is any short circuit. I need to check out. Let's check this. 3.3 voltage short circuit or not? Open the power cable. Keep the meter is continuity mode, and this one is continuity mode. And that is ground pin and this one. No short circuit. If there if here is any short circuit, it automatically gives the continuity and you can see here. And that means this is the tasses with the ground pin, that's why it's showing the giving the continuity and giving the beep. But this one is not short circuit, and here is also no short circuit. That means here is I am getting the 5 voltage, that means here is no short circuit, obviously, and here is 19 voltage is present. But I need to find out the 3.3 volt. First of all, I want to clean this circuit very properly. Here is so here is some dust and damaged area, and this laptop maybe keeps long time unused and that's why maybe it, it is not working i need to clean this area properly after that i will give some heat and i will check the voltage what happened it work or not i need to dry this if i dry this it will be give some satisfaction for my work Okay, our circuit is clean and dry also very perfectly. Here is a no dust on the circuit. You can see this one is 3.3 .3 volt and this one is 5 volt and this one is 19 volt and this must be work for the 1.25 voltage. All voltage we are getting the okay, but this voltage was not present. Okay, let's plug in the charger and this point is the 5 volt. Okay, you can see here, here is the 5 volt is present. And this one is 3.3 .3 volt and 3.3 .3 volt is also present and uh, this voltage was missing. Okay, that means our circuit is okay right now. And this is the 19 voltage and this one is at 1.25 volt, 1.025 voltage. This voltage is okay and our laptop power also turn on. You can see here light and here is the light is clone and i feel that and processor also heating okay let's see the display display is working or not this one is laptop display and connect this charger supply pin. let's see the display display is working or not here if the display is come yes our laptop is okay and due to the hard disk missing and due to the hard disk and bios cmos reset sorry Okay, viewers, our laptop is okay, and you can see here is a Windows is turning on, and all function is working fine. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.